All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of the Vega Launch Vehicle, being made by forum user Liquid Hype, and what this particular parts pack looks to add into the game is, well, parts so that you can build a Vega Launch Vehicle, which is actually a real-world rocket I believe developed by the Italians. Don't quote me on that, but that sounds about right. And then it used extensively by the European Space Agency, and it is a rocket intended to put satellites into Earth orbit. So a very, very nice, well-used rocket. And normally, these sorts of parts packs I don't typically like to look at because typically whenever you get a real-world parts pack, it's just a kerbalized version of of a model of a real-world part thrown into the game. And that, eh, I mean, it can be interesting, but most of the time it's just kind of bland. But what drew me to this mod in particular is it's not just the models of a Vega launch vehicle thrown into the game. It's a full-fledged working Vega launch vehicle to scale with the actual thing. So all the parts should be the right ratios, the right sizes, the engine should have the right amount of thrust, the right amount of ISP, burn time, all of that sort of thing. It should be a essentially Kerbal Vega launch vehicle in, in every way, shape, and form. It should work similarly to the real world version. And that, that detail put into this pack is what drew me to it. And also does lend itself to the issues that this mod pack has as well, which we'll talk about after we take a look at the parts. So let's jump at the into the VAB, first of all, and take a look at what all this does add into the game. And let's grab our usual Mark 1 command pod for uh, sizing purposes, and uh, then head on down to the engines tab, where we will find the first four parts that this adds in. Now, when you're building yourself one of these Vega launch vehicles, after you build your satellite, one of the first actual rocket parts you'll add in is this Vega Avum fourth stage, which if we pop, on oh God, we gotta turn it this way a bit. As you'll notice, it does have uh, multiple attachment points. I'll get into why in a little bit, but let's uh, get it with the center one there. And this Avum fourth stage is quite an interesting thing. It has a liquid fuel and oxidizer engine, as well as liquid fuel and oxidizer tanks on board to power them. It also has a full monopropellant RCS system and, of course, monopropellant tanks to actually work with them. As you can see, the monopropellant engines here on the sides, very nice little detailing. And under here is where you will see the models done for the tanks that are supposed to be on board with this. So it's essentially a fully fledged control system. I mean, it's got... You know, both main rocket engines as well as uh, your RCS engines for your fine-tuned controls. Very, very cool little part. I do quite like it. Uh, as for the modeling, pretty decent modeling. Uh, good detail on it. The texturing could still use quite a bit of work, especially on these tanks down below. Uh, and that's pretty much a, a sentiment that you'll hear throughout all of these parts. Overall, I'm happy with the modeling, but the texturing could be done a little bit better. But overall... Quite functional, quite functional indeed. So let's zoom away the crap out, throw this one off, and then take a look at, we're actually gonna go down the rocket. So the fourth stage is really what you end up with last prior to your satellite being launched. But before this stage, you'll ignite the third stage SRB. Now the Vega launch system in here, just as in the real world, the bottom three stages are all solid rocket boosters. So once you have it on, it will just keep going until it runs out of fuel. And that, that is where one of the problems for this mod comes into play. All of these bottom three stages, these solid rocket boosters, have a crap load of fuel, crap load of thrust, and pretty decent ISP, so they last quite a long time. So if you actually ignite from the first engine to the second to the third, you're gonna find yourself way past the moon. And that's because since this Vega launch vehicle is supposed to be geared towards being a one-to-one -one comparison with the real world version, this rocket 
honestly is kind of meant for the people who use the real solar system tweak mods that are available for Kerbal Space Program that make the planet of Kerbin as well as the whole solar system to scale with our own real world solar system. Now, that's not to say you can't use it in the stock solar system. I'm personally using it here with this and before earlier when I was playing with this mod, I actually went into the config files for these SRBs and cut their fuel and thrust in half, and it worked quite nicely. I was still able to get stuff into Earth orbit quite well. Now I've reloaded their configs back to their original form so you can see them in their full glory here. And so yes, on this third stage has a pretty, pretty decent little thrust at 240 atmospheric, 260 vacuum, pretty good ISP at 296 atmosphere, 315 vacuum and consuming 11.2 solid fuel per second. You also notice it does have a gimbal on it, so you don't need to put any tail fins on this or anything like that. And of course holds a crap load of solid fuel at about 1300. Now the second stage holds a lot more fuel at 4000 solid fuel, also has a lot more thrust at about 1100 atmospheric, about almost 1200 vacuum. 290 roughly atmospheric ISP, 310 vacuum ISP, and consuming about 52-ish solid fuel per second. And the first stage that you will ignite, having, oh boy, by far the most fuel and most thrust at uh, the fuel consumption, or the fuel on this having about 10,000, uh, almost 11,000 solid fuel thrust at nearly 200 atmospheric and 2200 vacuum ISP of 280 atmosphere 320 vacuum and consuming a whopping 96 solid fuel per second so these three engines if you ignite them one after the other oh boy that's gonna put you way way out in space on stock that's why I suggest if you do download this in stock Kerbal Space Program, and as in the solar system, cut, use the config files, open them up, and cut the fuel amount in half, and it works out pretty decently. But if you do have, say, the real solar system mod installed, then you should be good to go for putting this into Earth orbit without any issues, because that's really what it's geared towards. Now let's actually take a look at these stages. Now you'll see the uh, third stage here pretty pretty decent sized solid rocket booster very very large engine down here and uh, overall though not too big size wise I mean it's still it's quite a bit longer and uh, or shorter than a more standard SRB and quite a bit thicker or more rotund rather and overall good little engine just this on its own I could actually see myself using this in other ships as a pretty good solid rocket booster now the second stage one that we talked about here, much, much longer, still about the same, actually it is the same size girth-wise, but just essentially about twice the length, etc. Very good engine though. And then finally, the first stage, the behemoth, which as you can see here, we do have the ESA logo on there with, oh, look, the countries that use it. Lovely, lovely. And yeah, this thing, pretty big pretty big indeed. It is more rotund than the previous two engines, and uh, well, lengthwise it is oh, oh, longer than this one as well, so it's just a huge giant SRB. I mean, currently in game, our largest one that we have is this, which is taller, but I mean, come on, look at the girth of those two comparatively to one another. That is a whole crap load of solid rocket fuel, but a very fun amount of solid rocket fuel. Now, that is it for the engines. If we go down, we have nothing in command. In structural, I don't believe... Oh, yes, yes, we do have things in structural. I apologize, I almost forgot about these. In here, we have three parts in structural. The first one is the Vega Separator Adapter. Now, this one... This adapter is actually meant to be between the first stage, that giant SRB, and the second stage. And this adapter is equipped with uh, its own solid fuel or solid fuel rocket engines, which, as you can see here, if we zoom in, have their engine ports facing upward. And this is meant as a separator, essentially. It will use its engine to force that main section downward away from the rest of the craft. So it is quite, 
quite interesting a little solid fuel engine there quite cool and quite frankly with the size of that bottom stage kind of necessary especially if you uh ignite your next stage a little bit too early now we do also have a decoupler for the vega which is just pretty pretty standard little ring there nothing much to it but it is a just it's a decoupler with 100 force or 100 percent force there how much is it it's actual ejection force it is 250 ejection force there we go. And then lastly, we have the Vega launch platform. Now, this is meant to be used in place of our standard launch stability enhancers as if we... Oh, God, no, I don't need it on multi-parts there. If we take, say, the first stage engine and go all the way down to the structural and attach this... This is meant to be how it launches from. So, it, it uses this bottom section to stabilize the whole craft and you notice down at the bottom here we do have the nice little in exhaust port for the engine to go into so that it doesn't well damage things a very very nice little addition i do quite like that it, it makes it unique as so many engines or so many parts packs do still rely on the standard launch stability enhancer it's kind of cool to see a mod come with its own very nice indeed Let's chunk those off, and then the... Yes, yes, the last part that we have. Let's grab the... Uh, this part here, which... Oh god, what was the name of it again? The Avum. There we go. And the last part that we have on hand here is the fairings, which are in the aerodynamics section, of course. And... Oh god, I keep losing them because they blend in with everything. Ah, there it is. There it is. The Vega half fairing. And now these attach to those secondary attachment points here on the Avum. And so that you do have the custom Vega fairing on here. It would kind of be cool if it came in more parts. I don't know. The just the clamshell version of two half fairings. I mean, it works, but I've gotten so used to using the new stock procedural fairings that it's kind of it's kind of weird going back to solid ones like this. But oh well, c'est la vie. But if you place them on both sides, you will have a good enough time. And I hit the wrong buttons. There we go. Bam! So we have the nice Vega fairings on there with, of course, the company that does, in fact, make the rocket. And, yeah, that, that is all the parts. So if we actually go to load the craft, the makers of this, Liquid Hype, have seen fit to actually include a fully constructed version of the Vega so that we have, starting at the top, our lovely little fairings with a nice little uh, satellite on the inside there. Very cool indeed. Uh, let's just put that back. Oh god, I can't grab it. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Found that one little piece. Excellent. There we are. So close that back up. We then have our separator here, our decoupler, with then our third stage rocket, our second stage rocket after another decoupler. Then we have this decoupler here with that lovely separator ad ad adapter that will launch this bottom section away. And yeah, you get this ginormous freaking rocket. I'm actually going to reload it though real quick before I do anything, just in case taking off that uh, fairing messed up any bit of the staging. And let's go to launch this, as it does add in some new sounds for the engines, primarily the first stage. I haven't really noticed any different unique sounds in the other stages, but definitely for this first stage here, they added in a unique sound, which is very cool. I do quite enjoy it. But just look at the size of this thing. Again, meant to be a real world sort of uh, equivalent. And that is just massive. I believe the real world version stands about 100 feet tall. So this should roughly be that as well in the Kerbal world. And yeah, let's go to launch this. Even though it's solid rocket, let's thr throttle it up. Turn off our UI and launch in three, two, one. There we go, and just listen to that roar of the first stage. I love what they did with the sound there. We're going wobbly though, that's not good. Let's actually turn off the SAS and control it manually. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, it being such a tall rocket and kind of top heavy, it'll get that wobbling. Oh god, which me trying to control this without a nav ball, that's, that's, that's wonky. 
I like the particle effects on it that they've done too. Uh, we're flipping. We are flipping. Yep, yep. I wasn't paying attention to flying. I was looking at the particle effects there. Very cool how it sort of flares outwards there. Very nice indeed. Let's just turn back on the SAS and let it wobble. <laughs> It does, oh boy, it really does like to wobble, doesn't it? Oh boy. Look at that. Let's just stage. There we go, and <laughs> let's launch the next section of the rocket. Again, we get the nice flaring out of the uh, engine particle effects there, except now we just have a much smaller version of the rocket, which seems to be using the fairly stock uh, sounds to it. I, I can't really hear any difference between it and the normal engines, and I'm going all over the place. <laughs> so I'm trying. I'm trying to talk and notice things on the uh, craft that I'm missing, and so it's making it very hard to fly, without, especially without a nav ball. Oh, screw it. Turn back on the SAS for this thing. And yes, let it wobble around for a bit. Let's get it into a somewhat decent position. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh, there goes the other rocket. Oh boy, that's kind of, that's disturbingly close. <laughs> we could have a mid-air collision with this. Oh, go, oh, go, oh, God. Yep, yep, we're just screwed. We are just screwed. But yes, working out. Oh, it's also the RCS is on. That's, we don't need that on, do we? Yeah, this mission flying-wise went straight to hell when I uh, couldn't see the damn nav ball. And now we're all flipped around. But you know what? You're getting to see the rocket, it's still quite cool, and dear god, that section is still flying away over there, isn't it? Oh, I messed up the staging. Or either that or that is the intended staging, but yes, there we go, the second engine gone after our flipping around, and we now have this third stage. Now, if it wouldn't have been for my horrible, horrible piloting, and the many mistakes thereof, we would be much higher than this apoapsis, as it uh, seems now, we probably won't be making it into space with this thing. But, if you were actually paying attention to your piloting, again, I turned off my nav bomb. It just, it, it, it just went bad. It just went very, very bad. You'd be able to easily get this thing out into space. And again, if you do not have the real solar system mod installed, then this thing would normally put you way, way out into space. Because I still think that that first section still probably flying around somewhere if it hasn't crashed already. Because that is a whole crap load of rocket fuel in that thing. But yes, overall, a very, very cool parts pack. I do enjoy it. Even if you're not going to make the Vega launch system, or launch vehicle rather, there are still a lot of cool parts. I really love this third stage SRB, as well as this fourth stage motor with the built-in liquid fuel engine and RCS. I could see myself using these on other crafts that I build. Now the bottom parts, eh, maybe not so much because they are super, super overpowered on a just stock play, though my word, this uh, this last stage here is getting us quite an amount of altitude. Oh yeah, look at that, we will get into space with this thing. <laughs> so yeah, if we would have actually had all three solid rocket stages flown properly, you can probably imagine what sort of uh, orbit we'd probably have been able to get into then, but as it stands, I'm just kind of screwing around at this point, and let's face right towards the ground, yay, that'll work, and yeah, so if you would like to try out this mod for yourself, which I hope you do, especially if you do use the uh, real solar system mod, this would be an interesting addition to it, uh, you can check out the link in the description as always, and I hope you do check it out and enjoy it, and if you do build any fun and interesting crafts with it, I would love to see it. Tweet me a picture. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video today. And of course, you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.